my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining me and please subscribe down below. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for coming back. So today I'm going to be doing another NetGalley review. So I have three books that I have read through NetGalley. Not all of them are new releases, but I do think that they're new releases for audiobook. So I'm going to go over those and let you know what I thought about them. So the first book is The Girl from the Sea, which I listened to this one on audiobook. And it is supposed to be released May 13th, 2022 for audiobook. But it looks like it's been released in paperback in 2016. So this one's about a lady named Mia who was washed ashore. And when she came to after being taken to the hospital, she realized she has no memory at all. She doesn't know her name, her age, what she even looks like in the mirror. So we follow her as she is trying to figure out who to trust, who might be there to try to slip back into her life. So because we're just kind of following her around, trying to navigate life, the first half of the book is pretty slow. Once she gets some of her memories back, the story does pick up and it goes a lot faster. Uh, things start happening and then there is a twist at the end that I was not expecting. And once I thought everything was figured out, we got our little twist at the end and I was satisfied with the book, there's more. And I really liked that extra element in this book that I thought that the book was over and there was still more that was happening in the background. So I did like that element of the book and I really enjoyed it. I gave it a four star. The next book I listened to on audiobook was The Final Hunt. And this book I went into completely blind. I chose it because of the cover and I really liked the cover. And after I read the synopsis after reading the book, I'm glad I didn't read it beforehand. It gives a lot away just within the synopsis. So if you do plan on picking up this book, I suggest going into it mostly blind. It makes the experience, I think, um, a lot more enjoyable. So the story starts off really fast. In the first few pages of the book, we find out that the main character, Cam's husband, is mauled to death by bears. And then we just end up following her life as she is trying to rebuild after her husband's death. And while trying to rebuild her life, she finds out a huge secret that her husband was keeping. Once her husband's secret is revealed, she then has to save her reputation due to her husband's actions. The end was somewhat predictable, but I still really enjoyed it. And I really enjoyed the ending. It was very like passive gruesome. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you do read the book, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Overall, I really liked the book. I gave it a four star. And this book is due to come out June 7th, 2022. And then the last book for this review is Lucky Girl. And this is supposed to come out September 13th, 2022. And this, this book was good for what it was. It is a Christmas themed campfire type shorter story. This story follows strangers who become unlikely friends and they spend two Christmases together decades apart. So they sit around the Christmas tree telling ghost stories to one another and it really felt like the whole story itself was being told to me as I was sitting around the Christmas tree in a haunted house. So it's kind of like a scary campfire story within scary campfire stories. Again, not sure if that makes sense. There wasn't a lot of character development, but it was pretty short. So I wasn't really expecting too much. And there was a lot going on. There was more than one little side story. There was the twists and the turns and it was just cram packed with a lot of stuff in such a short book. So I really enjoyed this one as well. I did give it a three star just from how chaotic it was. Even though I did enjoy some of the chaos, it was very chaotic overall. 
So those are the three books that I read for my NetGalley review. I will have another one coming up soon-ish. I've been reading a lot of books off of NetGalley since I'm trying not to buy too many physically. And if any of these sounded interesting to you, they should be coming out soon. So you could go pick them up yourselves and let me know what you think about them. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you guys next time.